Good day and welcome to the Phono Cave once again. And now again for something completely different. Well, with the craze that's going on about uh, polished uh, aluminium foil balls, there is something that I have been doing for quite a number of years. And, you know, the foil balls originally come from Japan and so do these. Only this one is a hell of a lot more difficult and it takes a hell of a lot longer because these are not made of uh, wood they're not made of metal they're made of paper and there are two ways of making it there are two ways of making them and one way is disgusting and the other one is a bit more less disgusting the disgusting way is, and it's probably the original way as well, is chew a bit of paper, roll it up into a little pea-sized bowl, let it dry somewhere, and then rub it against a very smooth piece of wood until it shines. And then add another layer. Let that dry and rub it against a piece of smooth wood again and again and again layer for layer for layer and then you got something like this 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 bowl takes you about a year to make this quite a bit longer and I don't know where the mic is but I don't know if you can hear that If you shake it, it rattles. And that's because because you polished each and every layer, each and every layer shrinks when it dries. And then it deattaches from the previous layer. And when you attach so many layers, you know, they come loose and they rattle when you shake them but at the same time they're rock hard you know they're like cannonballs or billiard balls but they're very light and how long do you think you can go on with making layer upon layer upon layer upon layer until you totally give up This one hasn't been polished yet, but it's like the moon. <laughs> and again, rock hard. That's a five year bowl, by the way. I did it the second way. And that's by using uh, a, a wallpaper glue that has uh, that is partly animal glue, and that animal glue becomes stuff that you polish up by rubbing it against wood. The same stuff that's basically the same stuff that it's in your saliva, that makes everything gummy and snotty, you know, that disgusting stuff, you know. That's also in that glue, basically, and that's also in your bones. Uh, it's all through your body, you know. It's what you're made of, basically. So, you know, you use that into the paper paste that you make the layers with. And you let it dry, you polish it, you dry, polish it. And, uh, you know, if you're done totally at the end, you could even over-polish it by adding a, a, bit of, uh, a little bit of wax on the end. So, and it also kind of protects the ball because it is a living, kind of a living substance paper, just like wood. And if you don't do that, it might mold, uh, uh, it might discolor, uh, it might be attacked by bookworms. All, all that kind of stuff doesn't happen when you put a, a finishing layer of wax over it. And, you know, if you want to add another layer, it doesn't matter, you know. The wax acts the very same way as the polished layer of, of paper, only it's more tight. Well, I think that's uh, just about it 
what I can tell about these things. So, you know, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.